Okay, let's get started. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Jazima over here. If you're joining us for the first time, this is a channel about beauty, lifestyle, fashion, and travel. However, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, honey. So today we're tackling skincare. This has been a very much requested video in my inbox and uh, you know, in a couple of the few videos I've posted on YouTube and a couple of my friends have suggested it to me because if you know me like uh, five years ago, I didn't look like this. Actually, five years is a long time. Let's just look at even last year. Last year, I still did not look like this. My skin is, um, it's a combination sensitive skin mainly. Yeah, I don't want to say dry because, or oily because it's actually a combination skin. I have done those tests twice. I did do one in uh, Uganda some time back when I was younger. Um, it was with Oriflem. I don't know if you guys remember Oriflem from Sweden, but they did leave Uganda, unfortunately. So the company no longer operates there. So that's the first place I ever did my skin test and it came out combination. And I also did do one here in Canada. So I know for a fact it's combination. Both tests came back the same. However, having a combination skin is not bad, right? You have an oily T-zone, maybe dry patches here and there. But try having a sensitive skin. And guys, that, that is a whole other thing altogether. My skin is sensitive, and when I say sensitive, I mean it will react to my own hands, literally. So, without further ado, we are going to be discussing um, the seven habits that I have incorporated into my life, and they helped me get rid of acne. Before I even ever discovered topical treatments, antibiotics, stuff like that. If I ever got into the real deal stuff, I started to do these things and they helped a lot. I cannot even emphasize that enough. As a disclaimer, um, this should not be taken as medical advice. I am not a doctor. So you can wait, do I pass for a doctor guys? Like, <laughs> I rarely wear them, but <laughs> when I do, the serious side of me is out to play. I don't have a serious side. I don't even think it exists. <laughs> Anywho, please do not substitute this for any medical advice. I would still emphasize that you get, um, you know, input from a dermatologist because those are the doctors meant for skin or somebody qualified to do so. Okay, so these are things that I did that worked for me. So don't be coming for me in the comments like this girl is a liar or whatever. They worked for my skin and I'm just sharing that with you and I hope maybe somebody tried it. Not because I told them to, it works. Also, <clears throat> joining us today is, of course, my ginger tea signature blend. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's literally in Tangawzi, you guys. Like, <laughs> And I have tea leaves. My sister bought me this tea leaves sometime back. Like, it's Chisubi tea leaves. So I love it. I love the scent. But otherwise, I'm a tea junkie, guys. Fun fact. Now you know something about me that other people do not. I am a tea junkie and a cup holder. I have a lot of cups. Like, I have this inclined towards cups you know the thing about supermarkets here when you're exiting they put the cups in the aisle right they call it the aisle of doom because let me tell you <laughs> the stuff they put there they doom you they doom your pockets so i always see cups like especially in marshalls so they have very nice cups so when i see something i like i end up picking a cup and then another and then another so i have a cup collection but cheers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that ginger. <clears throat> and I love to actually leave the root in. I don't know if you see that. Because I like to chew on it. Weird habit, but anyhow. Mm. Okay. Now let's actually get into this while we're here. Obviously, the first habit. Wash your face. It might seem obvious, but let me tell you. There are people out there who are not doing this. Honey, your face. It's not gonna get better if you're lazing around. You gotta wash your face. And when I say wash it, I don't mean just wash it when you're in the shower. Nope. It should be something you do regularly because 
let's say it's winter you decide to shower one such day before you get into bed wash your face and when you're washing your face it's not about just you know pouring water no you gotta use soap but when i say soap okay when i say soap i mean cleanser <laughs> okay don't go using some random stuff on your face use an actual cleanser that says cleanse cleanse and cleansing is not like um a one-step thing you can double cleanse double cleansing would be if i use my micellar water which takes off the makeup the first layer and then after that i go in with a foaming cleanser or a cleanser that's soapy whatever so wash your face habit number two girl why are you touching your face what did you keep there that you're looking for what stop touching your face and stop coughing pimples like i know there are people who do this and it's addictive i've never actually done it i never i've never been that person but you know everybody has a weird fetish a weird habit they do so i'm thinking you know it, it it gets some people working for them i just i advise against it i discourage it i don't even think a medical doctor has to tell you this just do not touch your face I do not know if there is anybody that has ever attempted to touch my face and I did not tell them off. Like, I myself refrain from touching myself. You'll notice three quarters of the time my hands will be doing this, that. Because you do not know where your hands have been, honestly. And that being said, you do not know where the other person's hands have been too, okay? So don't let them be touching your face, period. Of course, unless you're married and that's a totally different subject altogether. By the way, interestingly, um, when this whole COVID pandemic situation started and they were like, wash your hands, wash your hands, don't touch your face. For me, that was literally the easiest adjustment to make. The hard one was, okay, staying indoors, like what the hell? I'm not an indoorsy person, I've just, I've never been. I like to walk a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Anywho, making that adjustment to wash hands or not touching your face or whatever they're like oh it might, might spread it might be the nose the lips the eyes whatever i was like i got this i got this because for the longest time i was already doing those two things for the sake of my skin because i had re noticed it reacts to everything like even me just lying down on somebody's couch or my own couch like i'll lie on this pillow that is here in my living room every day yeah and like two hours later or even no more than 30 minutes i'll start to see red patches and stuff like that so for me already washing hands was you know a given and that's why also because you're going to be like but you touch your face a lot because you're doing makeup come on people when i'm doing makeup of course you're using tools and you have to touch your face plus prior to applying my makeup i always always still wash my hands so i cannot emphasize that enough and uh, apparently, thanks to a pandemic now, there's directions on how to wash your hands. So, yeah, there's like a whole thing on that. And then you gotta yada, 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 yada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, do that and you'll be good. My dearly beloved, if you are using the same towel on your body and then in your face, you're gonna be hustled with that face for a very long time. I used to be that person. I'm not even going to deny it, right? We all have things we do that we just take for granted. Like, I, I, I really honestly want to say, growing up, the, the, the face towel thing was not a thing. Like, it's just something I always thought was a waste, Western world thing, but it's not. It's not, it's just for the betterment of your skin. If you go ahead and and use the towel on your body and then in your face, you're transferring the bacteria from there to here. Before I did any of these other things like washing face, hey, hustling, whatever, I tried the face towel trick. I'm not even sure where I got it. I don't know if I found it on YouTube or whatever, but it's very important that your face towel is white. Why? If it is colored, it means that if it's green, it's dyed. There's dye in there, there's chemicals, there's stuff like that to put that color in the towel. You get what I'm trying to say? You feel me? So you need a white face towel, not one, not two, but multiple. And when you get out of the shower, like I'll 
you know you have your towel wrapped around you and you dry whatever and then i'll pat my face dry or you start patting your face dry with your face towel hang it back up and then you know dry the rest of your body the other thing the face towel is good for is when you're cleansing your skin sometimes if you want to do like an extra cleanse like let's say you haven't done it in three days use the face towel but be gentle that's why it's important to get good quality stuff okay don't, don't just buy some random okay just don't, don't. now <laughs> i actually do not know right i do not know who made us believe the sunscreen was not meant for us but i don't know if i'm the only black person that thinks this but i used to think sunscreen was like you know because where did our skin so i'm like you get what I'm trying to say? Like, the sun cannot bar me any more than I am already black. <laughs> but guess what? I got news for you. It does. And when you have acne and the dark spots, that sun is going to take you to dinner, honey. And it's going to dine with you and it's going to have fun doing it. Okay? And you're not going to enjoy that meal because you're going to come out there. <laughs> <laughs> looking like <laughs> what do they call these thingies the hyenas <laughs> you know the spots <laughs> it's not nice so what happens is the sun has ultraviolet rays which is the uv rays and you know they penetrate at your skin so already if there is a dark spot it's going to make it darker however if you do go ahead and apply sunscreen it will not only act as a protective film over the entire face but also over those dark spots so they may not go away but they won't get darker get what i'm trying to say and also it helps even your skin tone so over time when your skin gets used to that you'll just be looking golden when i first started using sunscreen i think that was about 2016 2016 or 2017 it's when I started using a certain line. Um, I was recommended by one of my friends, a certain skincare line, and the chemicals that were in that line were kind of like aggressive. And even on the website, they tell you that you gotta use sunscreen when you're using these products. So I won't, I, I don't wanna say they were chemicals, they were active ingredients, that's what they call them, like benzoyl peroxide and stuff like that, salicylic acid, if you've heard those terms, then you know that those kinds of things can kind of be quite harsh to the skin. So harsh in a way that they expose it to more UV rays, like or direct, you know, sunlight and stuff like that, because they're stripping away certain layers of, let's call it debris, right? The dead skin scales and stuff like that to expose that inner baby skin you have. So for me, that's when I discovered sunscreen and I have never walked back. Even when I stopped using that line and went back to, you know, like the Vaseline and stuff like that, I still, I was still, uh, you know, a strong believer in sunscreen and I will never undo. I do not know what I'm singing, but just go with it, okay? Okay, now, point number three second last but it is second to none okay it is just as important as everything else water drinking water the reason why i didn't put this at the top of the list is yes they do say drink water it will help with your skin i cannot exactly directly link water to skin in my particular case because guess what i'm a water drinker i drink water more than thou I don't know I just can't survive without water I'm this person who goes to bed and has water by my bedside it doesn't matter where I am it doesn't matter if I'm traveling it doesn't matter what I'm doing I always have water by my side because I cannot go long without it so even if I'm at work even if I'm what whatever whatever the situation I just need water so I cannot say that, oh, water helped me get my skin better or whatever because I've always drunk it. Everybody does say drinking water, you know, improves your skin and whatever. The only way I can directly relate it is when I do not drink water, my skin dries up. You see how it's looking all nice and moisturized? If I spend like an entire day, which is, I, I can't even take a day, that's like, that's ridiculous, I'm exaggerating. But if I take like, hmm, let's say seven hours, eight hours seven without drinking water my skin dries up and it starts from around my eyes 
my eye area like it becomes darker and then here it's like i get like as if wrinkles so i don't know if it's the water like or the dehydration or the lack thereof i do not know but water okay so drink up your water i know there are people who say they do not like water spice it up there's water that's flavored these days you know it can be strawberry coconut orange people actually have these um i don't know how they call it they're like a bottle with a filter inside and then you can put like cucumber in there or lemons or i cannot stand i cannot stand lemon water i don't know why anybody would do that why anyway whatever rocks your boat i'm not judging <laughs> but i am um, yeah i am a water junkie uh, i have a water bottle collection we should do a video on that yeah yeah we should <laughs> I am so good at drinking water that I can actually tell water apart. I can tell by the water. And now I have brands that are my favorite from to drink it bottle, but otherwise I have a filter in my kitchen, so it's a good option for those of you who are like, you know, buying bottled water is too expensive, or doing this, or it's not safe to drink it from the tap, or you want to boil it, buy a filter. It's just a jug. You put it at the sink, put your water in there, and then it's good to drink with. It just filters through that filter and you could always remember to change your filters in due time guys if you're in some countries where the water is not that safe to drink please make sure you boil it okay make sure you boil your water before you drink it i don't want anybody getting typhoid and being like jazz told me to filter this shit no <laughs> no thank you no thank you so yeah let oh speaking of water i had tea i had tea people mm. Where were we? Point number Mkaga. I'm not even sure why I made this the sixth point. It should be somewhere at the top of the list. It's just I had to start with the most obvious thing, which is washing hands. But guys, moisturize. I do not know what people think when they hear that word, right? There's moisturizing. And yes, you're like, oh, this is it, Ziko. No, baby. No. What are you putting on your skin? It is not a matter of like I have I have acne, I'm going to do whatever. No. When you have acne and pimples and whatnot, you automatically move into the sensitive skin zone right away. You're no longer a normal skin or oily skin or dry skin. You're already on the sensitive side. So whatever you're putting on your skin matters like a hundred times more than it has ever so you gotta be very careful when you're putting stuff on your skin i personally use uh, a moisturizer from the neutrogena line but that will be shared in the next series so it is quite light right if you have acne skin already your skin is like heavy on its own it doesn't need heavier stuff by heavier stuff they are products um like uh, petroleum jellies <laughs> the two causes that, that contain um, what they call petro petro what no? petro petrolatum petrolatum yes they control petrolatum guys English is not my first language <laughs> so they contain petrolatum petrolatum is something that is good in keeping you know sealing in moisture but in the long run it's too heavy for your skin if you have acne i'll actually dial it back a bit the reason it's important for you to moisturize normally you'll find i used to be that person i used to be that person that would be like oh my skin is oily i do not need to moisturize because and I'd, I'd actually brag about it like you know when you're out of the shower and somebody is looking at your skin you haven't even moisturized yet or oiled it or whatever and it's already shiny right and I'm like, oh, my skin, <laughs> it does that. No, that is not good. You got to get on with the program before that oil comes out. So this is what happens. Hmm? Let's, let's get technical. When you do not moisturize your skin, hmm? it was naturally created, mashallah, to produce, like, to compensate its own moisture. Just the same way when you're cold, you get goosebumps because your pores are closing to maintain the body heat the body temperature same thing happens with your skin if you do not moisturize 
the skin the skin brain <laughs> if it has one it says oh we're kind of dry let's oil this up and they produce sebum sebum is something like that oil right that comes out of your pores so it ends up producing sebum but guess what it does it produces more sebum than you need and as that sebum is coming out or sometimes it may be the exact amount you need all it needs is the sebum to come through the pore to come and lay on top of that skin surface right but that sebum remains in the pore duct and what happens it builds up and when it builds up you end up with that thing they call a pimple that thing they call an acne okay so please get with the program and moisturize 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 do not let your skin fend for itself because it's causing build up so if there were ever anything in all the things you should on this list this has got to be the first one you gotta get to your skin before it does that for you and then blocks the pores all on your own because it ends up blocking them and then first that's why they be white you know that that build them it's all the oil coming from inside right it looks like past but it's not it's oil and then of course when the sun is hitting it it turns black simple science it's cooking it cooking that dinner for you <laughs> point number last but not least in any way listen to your skin what did i say listen hey you guys if there's ever anything that speaks a language louder than anything it's our bodies when you're sick when you're not well when you're pregnant not that i have been but you know you get like people vomit they'll get nausea whatever any kind of sickness any kind of whatever your body will have signals they're like red flags and they're waving louder than anything listen to your skin and by listening i mean if you're applying using certain things on your skin and it is like what's going on and it is reacting like you do not see any improvement you're like oh why isn't it it is because that that shit is not good for it stop like stop what are you doing stop if you're eating certain foods and after you see your skin reacting chances are you're allergic to that food allergies to peanuts allergies to like lactose and stuff like that and sometimes those allergies manifest in like in your skin like you'll either swell up or you'll get a lip like this and whatever or your eye will you know what i mean so if your skin is showing you a signal after you normally eat something chances are you're not supposed to be eating even eating that okay you may enjoy it but please do away with it okay plenty of fish and food in the sea I have a ginger to chew. So just some more. As part of listening to your skin, do your homework. Okay? If your skin is behaving a certain way, it's communicating, find out what it means. If you get this rash or this and this is happening, find out what that means. And similar to everything above, do your homework. Find out what works for you. These habits worked for me. They may not work for you or they may need a little extra umph, you know? Like if you're going to buy like a towel and your skin wants it to be pure cotton or like, you know, cashmere. <laughs> so find out what rocks your boat, okay? And do that. Thank you so much for joining me today on my seven habits that help me get rid of acne. I do hope, you know, you find this useful in whatever way possible because it did work for me, honestly speaking. Um, and in the next video, I will be mentioning the products that I actually use to, you know, to help my skin and stuff like that. So do stay tuned for that. You're going to want to see it. Um, I did not, you know, mention those in here because otherwise it would have been an extra long video because I'm chatty, I like to talk, I like the sound of my voice, <laughs> and I hope you do too. Thank you so much again, and have yourselves a lovely week, a lovely weekend, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We out.